In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a reverse command on an ATV 630 drive. And this could be in conjunction with a run forward as well, so you can have a run forward and reverse at the same time on the same drive. But we're going to talk about how to set it up in general and how to program it. So first things first, what you want to do from your main display here is to go into menu 5, complete settings, and then go down to command and reference. All right, and, and once we're in here, you want to go down to reverse disable, and you want to set that to no because we don't want to disable reverse when enabled. So go ahead and set that to no. All right, it gives you warning. Uh, that's fine. So the next parameter is called reverse assignment. Okay. So normally your DI one is your run forward command and you have the option here to pick whatever you want to activate your reverse function. You can pick DI 2, 3, 4, 5. Just make sure nothing else is uh, conflicting with your assignments here. If you choose to you can even pick DI 1, but again, DI 1 is normally a run forward from the factory anyway, so you may have to disable that first if you want to program the DI 2 to be reverse or DI 1 to be reverse, whatever have you. So, But again, anyway, DI 2 is the most common one being used for reverse functions, which is what it's programmed right here so far. So, now that you've done that, we can technically try to run this drive. So I'm going to toggle DI2 on my demo here. And it tried to run, of course, and you know that because I have a phase false fault, which is fine. In the long run, it does prove that the drive was still getting a command to run reverse. And that's basically how you program the ATV 630 drive to run reverse. 